Hey there, good morning. Um, very powerful night. Uh, I, I processed some stuff last night because sometimes I'll be led to a particular channel and sometimes it'll even be a recording that, that might have been four or five or six years ago um, because some of these recordings when you have two or three or four people uh, that are on there for like a couple hours, it's going to take a while to get through that information. Uh, and I listened to one that I've gone back to because it's, I think it's like about an hour and a half, maybe. And uh, you know how time is, what you're going to focus your energy on, your attention, right? Your mirror. Um, in order to, to listen to what others have to say about what they're experiencing and what they're communicating by what they've learned through their experiences, right? So I've always loved Ogtelli's a lot because I'm very familiar with the ground in which he speaks to. Okay, um, because of what I know about me. Okay, um, which I covered this in a lot of my videos about what it means to totally surrender yourself and wish to serve forever. Okay, when you're cosmic level, like you have access to what all, all of it. Okay, because you're as pure as it gets, like pure as the driven snow, which is what we know as a pure heart, which means you're experiencing pure eternal love in your heart, which means it's absolutely impossible for your consciousness to be weaponized. Okay, that's access. That's access into the whole enchilada. That means you're, you're back to the original from whence it all began. Began out of what love is. So now we talk about the measurement of how pure your heart is, how pure your energy is, how pure your consciousness is, how pure your soul is. Because it's much like I mentioned when I lit myself on fire, you cannot fool the universe. There's nowhere that you can access what we built originally and get into these places. Okay. So Ogtel has made some very critical remarks about access. Okay. It's, it's like reading. And if you know anything about the Anunnaki and the Kleist, soul consciousness traps, trying to duplicate frequencies, trying to gain access. I've always known since I was a child, there are places they do not get into. It's impossible. Okay. Those are known as our most sacred sites. And I've mentioned this before about what we call our most sacred art galleries. Okay. I, I, I already know where those places are. I've been there. Okay. So what we're talking about here, for example, is being able to experience things that are beyond your imagination, but you are never, ever going to be able to experience that. If your energy, if your consciousness, your soul isn't as pure as the purest that there is, okay? It, it will not work for you. The same way that I mentioned, if you're, you're wanting to hold back one electron, okay? Even one electron will not get you there. Which means if you are not in total eternal service on behalf of all creation, in which you represent eternal unconditional love, that means that that's what you are. That's what you are in energy. When you are an eternal being, when you are, you represent what eternal unconditional love is, then you gained access into what eternal unconditional love has created for you to experience, which means you don't get in there if you're not an eternal being. Okay. That means eternal unconditional love, which means you are absolutely a hundred percent harmless against anything that love created. Okay, that's a standard. That's the highest gold standard there is. That's why we're here. That's why I've mentioned this many times. This is a cosmic level clearance. Clearing. That's why I mentioned before when I took my headset off, pulled it out, we're done with them. Okay, it's like we're done playing games. Okay, going around on this fucking hamster wheel. Much like he described, right, with Lily Kosovoa and, and the others that were on there. And, and then all the discussions that take place between Patty Bessard and Karen McDonald and all the rest of this, right? And that includes all the councils that represent Venus and the Syrians, right, and all the rest of it. Okay? Love is a law and it's no longer negotiable. End of statement, end of story, end of history. So I know this sounds sort of forceful, but it's... It's, it's like, how, how could anybody not know that? Because they do know that. 
And it's just like I mentioned in a window to my clan mother. Okay. It requires total surrender to yourself. So if you have one shred of fear, it's not going to work. Because the purest of love is the absence of any fear in which you serve. Okay. That's no resistance. That's zero resistance to totally surrender to yourself, which is the same thing as to totally surrender under the law of one. Because it started with the one. An eternal love vibration. So now you can now you can start adding this up to the parasites. Right? If you're infected with a parasite, then how are you going to be able to give up everything if you're still influenced by a parasite? A parasite induces fear. So how are these beings that are infected in their own mind, which is a psychopath, to give up all their energy, all their energy in which to serve? Okay. As a result of what? What they've done to others. By virtue of using their technology, artificial intelligence, to go to war against others. Because in their mind, they're losing energy. Because they are losing energy. That's inverted. So anyway, I, I wanted to share that and... and, and, and <laughs> What it took to get this done was was monumental. I mean, it's um, that's why every day I go out here on this rock, plant my feet out there. I thank all of you on behalf of the all creation for everything that you've been willing to do, uh, which are sacrifices. Okay, uh, on behalf of the law of one, which is what love is. It goes on forever. So anyway. Um, have a beautiful day. Uh, take care of yourself. Be good to yourselves.